Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is your weekly reading for this week. Um, I was told to keep it simple, so I was going to pull you guys uh, the oracle I put for Divine Feminine, but I was told to keep it simple, so the oracle I put from you is from this deck, so it's like a simple message. Um, it's like a straightforward message straightforward oracle is not like a whole like paragraph so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in divine masculine i'm gonna pull you guys so i'm gonna pull you guys an oracle and i'm gonna pull you guys an angel answer for this week so let me go ahead and jump right in what is divine masculine's oracle for this week and what's crowning divine masculine's energy divine masculine's oracle for this week Why am I asking this oracle? Whew. What's the why I'm asking this oracle? All right, we have gratitude. So it's saying, find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. So gratitude, divine masculine. Is your oracle? And this is what's crowning your energy. <clears throat> spirit is uh, suggesting for you to show gratitude this week. And or spirit might automatically put you in this energy. Because this is crowning you. So you might automatically be in this energy of gratitude. Okay, so let me put you guys angel answer. What's Divine Masculine's angel answer for this week? <clears throat> Divine Masculine's angel answer for this week. All right, <clears throat> so what is it? Okay, peaceful resolution. So peaceful resolution is your angel answer. Let me read it. Okay. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitrations, and let me turn the page. Arbitrations and even strife among family or friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for, for everyone. Okay, so peaceful resolution. <clears throat> Divine Master. Divine Master, I'm picking up for some of you guys. Your angel answer is peaceful resolution. So Divine Master, you might be um in some type of dispute. Legal, it could be legal. It don't have to be with someone or something. And um your angel answer is basically telling you it's not uh this is not the time for war to be unforgiving. Um things like that. So it's uh your angel answer is pe be peaceful. So Divine Masculine, you might have to um, turn the other cheek this week, whether you're right or wrong. I feel as though you're going to be right in this situation, but you still have to be uh, um, peaceful. Peaceful with the other party or parties. So, I don't know Divine Masculine, you may be uh, tempted to get vengeful, be um, vengeful, even though you may have been right about something. So... Your angel answer is peace, a peaceful, a peaceful resolution. So let's see, I'm going to get into the tarot. I'm only going to pull four tarot cards, then I'm going to, you know, get into clarifying it. And then that's going to be the reading. So what's going on with Divine Masculine for this week? What can Divine Masculine expect? What's going on with Divine Masculine? All right, we have the Eight of Cups. Divine Masculine, you or somebody else could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you could have this in your chart. Divine Masculine, you could be um, walking away from something or somebody emotionally. So previously, Divine Masculine, you had some emotional attachment to something or someone, but this week you're releasing 
um, your emotions from this uh, scenario. You're letting go of something emotionally. Divine Masculine, this could be you, you literally walking away. This could be from a person, a place, or a thing. So you're detaching yourself emotionally and or literally. Usually with the cups, it's usually just emotionally. So Divine Masculine, if, you, if you're like in a relationship, maybe with the lover, the Eight of Cups is like um, you still live with the person, but it's like you have no emotional attachment. So it's, it's not quite literally somebody walking away, like you moving out, things like that. It's just you're detaching yourself emotionally. Divine Master, you could be an air sign as well. don't have to be. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Or Divine Master, someone is walking away from you emotionally. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Yeah, we have the Empress. <clears throat> the Empress. Divine Master, you or somebody else could be a Taurus or a Libra. Don't have to be. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Divine Masculine. So the Empress, Divine Masculine, you could have gotten somebody pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant and, you know, you don't want this female or this baby, Divine Masculine. So you could be walking away emotionally, Divine Masculine. You could be involved with this female that you got pregnant. She could be very uh, emotional because of her pregnancy, hormones, all that. So Divine Masculine, this could be you. You could have somebody pregnant, your wife, girlfriend, y'all living together. And it's like you walk in the house and she yelling. And Divine Masculine, you're going to turn right back around and leave out that door. It's like you're not going to deal with her yelling. So you just turn around and walk back out and wait for her to calm down. Or Divine Masculine, this could be a, a pregnant woman, your child's mother, possibly even your mother. Or some type of abundance. So this Empress could be your job, Divine Masculine. Some type of abundance. This is either a person, a feminine energy, a person. Don't have to be a female, but feminine energy um, or thing. So this Empress could be your job. Uh, some type of opportunity. This Empress could be a promotion. A job opportunity. Clarify the Empress. Divine Master, I also just picked up that um, you were involved in a third party. So Divine Master is you and two females. Um, if this is the scenario, I believe the woman that you prefer is probably the Empress. She could be a Libra or a Taurus, don't have to be. She could be any sign. And um, the karmic could be walking away. From like this empress. So divine masculine. This empress could be your divine feminine. This empress could be a karmic. Someone you impregnated. Your main female. Or your wife. And it's like these two women was going at it. But one of the women might let it go. And just like leave your girlfriend or wife alone. So it's like if that's the scenario. It's like the karmic could be a, a water sign. The karmic could be a water sign. And it's like she's going to leave your... uh wife or divine feminine or somebody alone she just like gonna let it go <clears throat> and she this eight of cups energy could very well be the karmic don't have to be divine masculine this could be your mother and your wife feuding and it's like uh this week divine masculine some one of these females gonna let it go from this few Somebody fighting over you, things like that. One of the females is going to let it go. Clarify the Empress. Yeah, the Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Divine Masculine, somebody could be a Pisces or a Sagittarius. The Will of Fortune. I'm picking up, this is not a person. This is the universe. That's not a person. I'm picking up, that's the universe. So, whatever go down this week, Divine Masculine, it was meant to be. This is the Will of Fortune. More than, more than likely, Divine Masculine, the Will of Fortune being here, especially if you're like a Pisces or a Sagittarius, Divine Masculine, the will is uh, more than likely going to turn in your favor. So, whether you stay in or you leave in Divine Masculine, it was supposed to be like this. Someone is um, also getting karma. Somebody is also getting karma, Divine Masculine. 
whether it's you or the other party. Somebody getting karma that will of fortune is here. Somebody gonna like it and somebody's not. Clarify the will of fortune. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, the magician. Divine masculine, you or somebody else could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Don't have to be. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay, so um, we had the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. So divine masculine, you might get news of a pregnancy or somebody might try to, to apologize to you or you might apologize to somebody else. This could be news of a pregnancy or um, divine masculine. You could be dealing with someone who's emotionally immature or uh, there might be some type of apology. So I'm looking at the cards. And what it's also looking like is um, Divine Masculine. Somebody is walking away. This Eight of Cups, I'm kind of picking up, is not you. But it's like Divine Masculine. It's like when this person walk away, somebody else is going to be able to manifest in peace. So Divine Masculine, this could be a situation where this could be a third party in love. And it's like, you already chose one of these females. You chose somebody. You could have married this person. Don't have to be a marriage. And it's like, you and your main person, Divine Masculine, was never able to find peace because the third party kept interfering. So it's like, this week, Divine Masculine, the third party is going to walk away. And it's like, the will of fortune is here. And it's like, now you guys are able to manifest, like, uh, your relationship in peace. You're able to manifest in peace because the will of fortune stepped in. So somebody is leaving the scenario. Yeah, this could also be in work, Divine Masculine. It could have been some uh, disputes, competition going on around work. And it's like Divine Masculine, somebody, uh, whoever you were feuding with, this person might leave, this person might get fired, this person might quit. And it's like the trash took his own self out. And it's like Divine Masculine, you're able to work in peace. Get this raise, get this bonus in peace. Continue on in your affairs concerning your income in peace. I also just got Divine Masculine, whether this is in love or in career. I'm picking up a third party scenario. But I also just saw Divine Masculine, you was holding on to this third party for your own reasons. And that was the problem. So it's like you was kind of like sabotaging your own self, sabotaging your peace of mind, your progress. Because you were kind of like, you didn't want this person to walk away. So, for example, Divine Masculine, if this is a third party in love, Divine Masculine, you had your wife or your main female. But you was holding on to the third party for like money or sex. So it's like you was playing, get, you was you know, could have been being a player, Divine Masculine. But you didn't want the third party to walk away. But it was for your own benefit. Then it's like when things would go haywire, you would be confused. Like, why me and my girl just can't be together? Why the third party keep butting in? That's because you were still sleeping with her. Like, things like that, I see, Divine Masculine. For some of y'all, y'all was holding on to this third party. But it was for your own personal benefit. And it would backfire on you. And it's like you was like... Creating your own karmic cycle. Because it's like you wanted your cake and eat it too. Something like that. Yep. Now, that don't have to only be in love. That can be in work too. Divine Masculine, you could be a business owner or whatever. And it's like you knew this person that was working under you was like, a liability to your company, but you held on to this person for whatever reason. And it was like sabotaging you. Maybe this person was like, <clears throat> it's like Divine Master, for example, maybe you, for example, if this is in business, it's like Divine Master, you hire a assistant because you didn't want to do certain things. You didn't want to keep up with the books. You didn't want to do this. So you hire an assistant. I, I kind of want to say, like, out of laziness, Divine Masculine. But it's like this assistant was causing you, like, all this. This assistant was doing things. But you didn't want to fire this assistant because you didn't want to do it. 
So you delegated a task to somebody else and they was messing something up. But you didn't want to fire this person because you didn't want to do it. Things like that. Yeah. And I'm, I don't want to say laziness. It, you could have hired this uh, um, this extra help. Um, I don't. I just don't want. I'm. I'm not comfortable with just saying you did this be out of laziness. You could have been. You know, you're a business owner, divine master. You could be self-employed, so you could have been overwhelmed. Maybe you were um a little bit negligent through the hiring part process. Like divine master, this could have been something like you just wanted to hire somebody, so you didn't do a background check or you didn't do a thorough one. Something I'm picking up, not lazy divine master, but you could like rushed something. Like you wanted something rushed and you shouldn't have did it like that. You should have did something more thorough, something like that. So what's the issue going on with this person in this Eight of Cups energy? What's this person's issue with Divine Masculine in this Eight of Cups? What's this person's issue? All right. So this person got two issues with, with you, Divine Masculine. This person, uh, feel as though you have high expectations. Um, you're very meticulous and picky as F. So this person emotionally walking away from you, Divine Masculine. This person feels as though you have uh, your expectations is too high possibly unreachable as well argue was divine masculine this person felt as though there were always the argument and uh competition concerning arguments needing to have the final words place who has the most shit on each other yeah so um i i, I just heard scrutiny so divine masculine whether this uh third party is a lover or in business this person thought you were scrutinizing them like you had them under scrutiny, maybe surveillance, 24 hour surveillance. Yeah, that's how this person feel about you, Divine Masculine. This person uh, thought you always criticized them, Divine Masculine. Um, I, I'm hearing critical, like you were very critical to this person. That's how they felt. They were never good enough. Because their issue with you was argue was this person felt as though you always wanted to argue. Um, argument competitions, needing to have final words, play who has the most shit on each other. Yeah. So let me pick it up a different way. If this Eight of Cups is Divine Masculine, what is Divine Masculine's issue? Why is Divine Masculine Eight of Cups? Why is Divine Masculine Eight of Cups? Brown nosing, love to rub things in your face. So Divine Masculine, I'm picking up, is you, is the other party in the Eight of Cups, and it's also you. Um... But your issue with this person, Divine Masculine, is that this person love, love to rub things in your face. Yeah. So, I'm picking up peace. Peace, peace, peace. I'm picking up peace, and I'm not surprised because Divine Masculine, that's your angel answer. And I think that's, just, that's what's going to happen this week. Divine Masculine, I also see... You are holding on to somebody, but it was like kind of like for the wrong reason. And it's like divine masculine. If you walk away from this person, this person is going to be able to manifest in peace. Yeah. So somebody's going to walk away and like the other party is going to be able to manifest in peace. Like psh. it's like y'all agree to disagree. Yeah. Yeah, something was going on in this scenario. Work, love, or life, Divine Masculine. But I'm picking up. It was kind of you too, Divine Masculine. I'm picking that up. I can't let that go. I feel it. Yeah, it's like you was holding on to this person for like their life, Divine Masculine. So it was meant for this person to walk away from you emotionally, Divine Masculine. Maybe you felt insecure, Divine Masculine. Maybe you felt as though you couldn't run this business by yourself. That's what I'm picking up, like an insecurity, Divine Masculine. This could, this could have also been um, in love, Divine Masculine. Like, the third party could have been, because that happened in situations like that. Divine Masculine, the third party could have been, like, somebody you got kids by. Or maybe even your mother. 
And it's like your mother and your girlfriend was always going at it. Because it's like, if I'm asking, you felt as though you couldn't live without your mom. You couldn't have a close connection with your mother. But it's like she was sabotaging your love life. You didn't want to let your mother go. You knew your mother was nosy. You knew your mother probably didn't like your wife or your girlfriend. But you let her do certain things. Because you didn't want to offend her. You didn't want your mother to... Uh, yeah, you, you, you know, you have a close connection to your mother. So it's like divine master It's like, if that's a situation where it's like your mother and your wife is like beefing, it's like divine master this week, if your mother walk away and have her temper tantrum, like your mother could be living with you and your girlfriend, divine, divine master. And it's like, if she leave divine master, you just going to let your mother leave. Cause it's like, you know, it's the right thing to do. It's like in the past when she tried to move out, you probably like, you know, begged her back, begged her not to leave. Something like that going on. Yeah. It's like you're just going to let it happen, Divine Masculine. Yeah, it's like you're just going to let it happen. So, give me a charm card for this Eight of Cups. If this, this charm, I mean... The Eight of Cups being Divine Masculine. Give me a charm card for the Eight of Cups being Divine Masculine. Yeah, so structure, building blocks. Yeah. So Divine Masculine, this Eight of Cups being you, you're emotionally walking away from building with someone. Because you was working on something with somebody. So this is work, love, and life. Yeah, you're walking away from trying to build something with somebody. And this could be a romantic relationship. Like, you were walking away from trying to get this person to see things from your point of view. Trying to build. This can be in business. I don't know, Divine Masculine. You could be a, a construction worker. Or you contracted, like, um, some builders to work on a project with you. And it's like, y'all wasn't seeing eye to eye on a project. This could be in work. Like, some contracts. You guys could be working on building a house, some welding, chopping down a tree. And it's like you and these contractors, Divine Masculine, was not seeing eye to eye. And it's like Divine Masculine, you're just going to let it go. Or find or hire somebody else or something. Or tell your or tell your workers to to like pull back. We not working on this site. Something like that. Yeah. This was about building blocks. So this is like literally like some construction. Or this could be in love. Yeah. Give me a charm card for this Eight of Cups being a, a different person, another person. Give me a charm card for the Eight of Cups being another party. Yeah, Cola Mindful. Yeah. Yeah. So, Divine Masculine, this Eight of Cups energy being somebody else. This person is walking away from um, being mindful of you. So, basically, Divine Masculine, this person is, like, getting disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to get disrespectful this week. And it's like, y'all going to have to go y'all separate ways. Something went too far. Because it's like, in the past, Divine Masculine, this person was trying to work with you. Like, this person was being mindful of you. They were very considerate of you. But it's like, this week, this person is like, might get disrespectful, lose, lose respect for you, Divine Masculine. Because it's like, they're walking away from being mindful. And as well, Divine Masculine, this person, if it's a different party in that Eight of Cups... This person know the best thing, the most common sense, the, mo the most mindful thing to do is just to walk away. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Divine Masculine. I think whatever this is, is in work, business, or love, Divine Masculine, I'm picking up. You was holding on to this person. So it's like, Divine Masculine, if this is like a, con a contract, y'all was trying to build something. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, I'm picking up. this. These people... Was like the only company like that could have had the reason, the most reasonable pricing. So these people was willing to work on you. Th these people made a deal with you, Divine Master. And it's like you call other companies, but they want to cut down on their prices. So this this Eight of Cups energy, they were willing to work with you, but it's like Divine Master, y'all couldn't get along on the structure of the building or on something. Yeah, that's why I'm picking up Divine Master. I see it. You was holding on to this to this Eight of Cups energy, this person. And it could have been because they gave you a discount when the other companies wouldn't. Something like that. But it's like y'all still wasn't getting along. It's like it wasn't worth it. Something like that. So, 
Yeah, then we got ring came out in reverse. Yeah. So this can be a love divine masculine. Uh, this could be your ex-wife. This could be your ex-wife. Somebody you, someone you're either either divorcing in the present or like somebody you divorced in the past. And it's like divine masculine. You got a whole new girlfriend, a whole new wife. But it's like you're used to your ex-wife. So you was holding on to her out of comfort. You probably needed something from this woman. But you was you were holding on to this person, divine masculine. Give me a charm card for the Empress. Give me a charm card for this Empress. Yeah, Cologne Chemistry. Yeah. Cologne Chemistry. Yep. Divine Divine Masculine. Um, you had chemistry with this Empress. Whether this Empress is feminine energy or like a business deal, a contract agreement, there was chemistry here. And this could be in work. This could be in work because it's like, um, I'm picking up like construction or something. And it's like cologne, like Divine Masculine. It was you and a whole bunch of men. It's like all that testosterone. Like the deal was good. Y'all made good money together. But it's too much cologne. Too much cologne. It's chemistry. Yeah, the business was good. But it's like y'all personalities clashed. Y'all personalities just clashed Divine Masculine. So this is I've definitely been in work. I don't know, Divine Masculine, you could be an engineer or something like that. Or you could be, you could work on roofing. You could have a roofing company or some type of construction. Yeah, the opportunity was here. Something was very abundant. But something like just didn't work out. I'm picking up y'all personality. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yep. Give me a charm card for the Will of Fortune. Give me a charm card for the Will of Fortune. Give me a charm card for the Will of Fortune. Yeah, lightning bolt. Sudden, yeah, Divine Masculine. Somebody, something's going to change. Divine Masculine, like I said, Somebody is going to get very nasty towards you this week. Somebody that was mindful towards you in the past, like respected you, um, was holding their tongue. Because again, keep in mind, divine masculine's person issue with you is that you your your expect your expectations is unreasonable for them. So it's like they, but it's like suddenly something's going to change. Like this will of fortune is change. It's going to happen suddenly, and it's like this person might walk off the work site. Like I said, I, I saw somebody pulling back their workers. Like, we leaving. We not working here. Mm -mm, let's go. Take me to court or I send you the paperwork. We retreating. No, I'm, I'm not doing business with you. Like, something like that. It's going to happen suddenly. I also see Divine Masculine. <coughs> this Eight of Cups being a different party. Whether it's in love or in business. So, for example, Divine Master, say like this Eight of Cups is in love. And it's like Divine Master, you got a side piece and you got your main person. And you got this female pregnant. And you chilling, you hanging out with the third party. And it's like while you're hanging, chilling with the third party, your wife or your girlfriend call you and tell you they went into labor. And it's like Divine Master, you're going to leave this person. You're just going to get up and run off and leave because it's like the, somebody you got pregnant went into labor suddenly. So it's like the third party was like, it's going to be like, you know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm done with Divine Masculine. He told me he was leaving his wife. He told me he was doing this. And she called him. We at, we out to eat together. And she called him and he just leave me there because she went into labor. Yeah, something like that. That female going to walk away. And she might cuss you out too. Yeah, bump all that being mindful. Divine Masculine, this third party might uh, expose you too. Because it's like... You could be sitting down having dinner or you at this female house. And it's like, you know, because you know that that's how it goes sometimes when you the third party. And it's like you, your main girlfriend call your phone and the dude be like, oh, be quiet or shh or something like that. Divine Masculine, you might do this to this female and she going to go off. Like, I ain't shutting up. She going to know about me today. Like, she going to find out. Yeah. So you could be with this third party, Divine Masculine. 
and it's like your main female call your phone, and you telling the, the third party, don't say nothing, be quiet, or the divine masculine, you get up and go in a different room, this female going to act up in the background. Yeah, she going to act up in the background, and you might get caught, divine masculine. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like the ending of her being mindful. Like, she going to find out about me today. I'm the third party. She going to find out. Something like that going to go on. This person is walking away from being mindful of you, being considerate of you. It's like this female knows she's the third party, but it's like divine masculine. When your wife call your phone, you tell her to be quiet. <laughs> and not this week she ain't being quiet. Mm -mm. Yeah, I see that going on too. Yeah. Um, give me a charm card for the uh, magician. Yeah, revenge, acts. Revenge, yeah. Oh, boy. Mm. Divine Master, somebody might get you in trouble. Whether this is in business or love. Divine Master, you was doing something and you might get jammed up. So this could have been you robbing Paul to pay Peter in business. And it's like somebody, something going to go wrong to my masculine. And you might get jammed up or caught out. I kind of see that too. Or divine masculine. It's like, um, I also see divine masculine. If somebody walk away from you, you're going to seek revenge. You might seek revenge on this person. So, for example, Divine Master, if you're with the third party, it's like if this woman, like I just heard that Beyonce song, Say My Name, Say My Name, if no one is around you, tell me you love me or something like that. That Beyonce song, Say My Name. And it's like, Divine Master, I don't know if this woman, you with the third party and she exposed you while you on the phone with your wife. And Divine Masculine, you might try to get revenge on a third party. But that, some, somebody trying to get revenge. Somebody was trying to do something, Divine Masculine. This magician could be manipulation. If this is revenge, or Divine Masculine, somebody's getting revenge on you while you was trying to manifest like some type of success in love or work. Somebody could be seeking revenge. Yeah. So Divine Masculine, if this was like in business, it's like these people is going to back out. And it's like Divine Masculine, little do you know, this, it's like they might sue you. It's like this person leave, they don't want to work with you, work work for you no more. And it's like you minding your business, you keep working, you the magician. But it's like somebody could be, um, somebody's plotting revenge. Maybe this person feels as though you manipulated them. Divine Master, this could also be a female that you got pregnant and you tell this female you don't want this baby. She, she going to get you. Or she going to attempt to. Something like that. Let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> this revenge. Is this um Divine Master? This revenge energy? This revenge is this divine masculine. This revenge is this divine masculine. No, yeah. Nope. The magician is this divine masculine. Yep, yeah, divine masculine. I also see Divine Masculine that um there could have been a feminine around you and it's like this per this female was around you because she wanted to get pregnant and this was her act of revenge. She wanted to get pregnant or Divine Masculine it's like this female was is pregnant. She could be like her early stages of pregnancy. She know the baby wasn't yours but she was going to pin it on you. 
And then it's like when the baby was born, this woman was going to tell you or tell you who the real father was. Yeah, this was somebody. Somebody had a plan, a revenge. Somebody had a plan, a revenge, and it probably didn't work out how this female wanted to work out. Like, it's going to be a towel moment around her plan. I don't know if she was planning on faking a present pregnancy or trying to make you jealous with this cologne. It's like she's pregnant or she's, she was going to get pregnant, but the baby is really somebody else's or she was going to have another man around her to attempt to make you jealous. Or it's like this female knew the whole time it wasn't yours, but she was going to tell you it was yours. And then it's like, at some point in time, she was going to tell you, oh, or leave you for the real father or something like that. It was like a very well thought out plan. So this female might miscarry this week, Divine Masculine. Yeah, this female might miscarry. So Divine Masculine, this could be a situation where you with somebody. It could it could be a karmic Divine Masculine in love. You're with a karmic. And it's like, say like five years ago or three years ago, Divine Masculine, you got another woman pregnant. It's like you stayed with the karmic, but you had an outside baby. So it's like this karmic was planning some type of revenge on you. Yeah. So it's like you stay with the karmic, but you had an outside baby outside the relationship. And it's like this karmic could find out she pregnant. It's like she had a plan around a pregnancy, but it's not going to work. This karmic probably know that baby not yours, divine masculine. Or she was going to fake a pregnancy. Something like that. But it's going to be a change to her. Um, it's going to happen suddenly. And it's like this karmic going to have to walk away. Or this karmic wanted to do harm to like. This karmic either wanted. To, if this is in love. Divine Master, your karmic wanted to do harm to either your mother. A female you could currently have pregnant. Or like your child's mother. Or like your wife or something. Yeah. Somebody was plotting revenge. And they could have wanted to do it through spell work. Some type of act of revenge, Divine Master. A female was working on you and through you. But I think it might, she might have a tower moment. She might have a tower moment. She could have been having another man down with this scam or scheme. It could have been another masculine that she got chemistry with. So it's like Divine Masculine, this female, say like she pregnant, Divine Masculine. And it's like she has somebody. And it's like what this karmic wanted to do was one day you come home from work and she going. Like something, something like that. It's like she wanted to surprise you. The element of surprise. Like this ain't your baby or just out the blue she leave you with another, for another man. Somebody she got chemistry with. Or something like that. Or um, it, this could also be like some child support. She wanted to shock you like. But it's like it didn't work or something's going to happen this week to where her plan, she really, she see that her plan is not going to work. And the my masculine, this female probably realized her plan to probably make you jealous. is not going to work because the my masculine, you're going to have peaceful resolution. So it's like you're at peace. It's like. I don't know, Divine Masculine, but it's like this female going to realize this week, whatever she was planning against you is not going to go how she wanted it to go. Because it's like she's going to realize you detached yourself from her. So it's like you can't make me jealous if I don't got love for you. Like if I don't like you, if, you know, I'm no longer attracted to you, you can't make me jealous. So it's like I don't know if this female was planning on trying to make you jealous or something. But it's like she's going to have a towel moment. It's like this Empress energy is not going to be able to get to the Magician energy. Yeah, this Empress energy is not going to be able to get to the Magician, get to this revenge. Because the Will of Fortune step in. Because the Empress was headed towards revenge. This Empress wanted revenge. But it's like she, she or he is not going to be able to do it. 
Because there's going to be a tower moment. Something unexpected. So this could be a situation where Divine Masculine, you walk away from this Empress. And it's like, when you walk away, she like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, you want to leave me? Yeah, she was plotting on some revenge. And she could have had another Masculine um, down with her. Or Divine Masculine, this Empress just didn't want you to leave her because she felt some type of chemistry between y'all two. So Divine Masculine, you could have a third party pregnant. Like that Empress could be a Taurus or a Libra and you got her pregnant. And it's like she the third party. And she thought you guys was like on a different level. Like she can't believe you told her to get rid of that baby or we breaking up or I never wanted you. Like something like that. This Empress was going to um, manifest something, manipulate something. <coughs> but the Will of Fortune stepped in. Yeah, because it came out like this. So it's like you ate a cup's divine masculine. You walk away from this empress. This empress like, really? Okay. She was going to this magician, manipulation, but the will of fortune stepped in. And it told me the magician is revenge. So this empress was going towards getting some revenge. She wanted to manipulate something. But the will of fortune is going to step in. And it's going to happen suddenly. So, I don't know if I'm asking what just came to me, too. This is, like, for one or two of y'all. This could be something crazy to where, I don't know, Divine Masculine, when you leave this female, she probably was going to go off and, like, try to kill herself or harm the baby. And it's, like, before she try to go kill herself or harm the baby, it's, like, she going to labor. So, she's not able to do something. This is definitely a karmic, Divine Masculine. Yeah, it's like you leave her and she like, I don't, she was either going to go harm herself or harm the baby. But it's like before she can do it, she go into labor. Yeah, or she might miscarry. If this woman have a miscarriage, like suddenly, Divine Masculine, Spirit did you a favor. Because it's like this woman would have gave you hell. You got this woman pregnant? She could probably have a, a miscarriage, yeah. Because this woman was going to manipulate something like her revenge. So if I'm asking, you could be married and you you going to find out this week that you got like the third party of Carmen pregnant. And when you tell her to either get an abortion or whatever you, whatever, go something going to go wrong. And it's like this emperor's like, oh, really? Oh, okay. I'm going to keep my baby. And then when I have my baby, I'm going to call your wife. I'm going to tell your wife. I, like this empress was going to get you. Yeah. But she didn't get a chance to. She's not going to be able to. Whatever this revenge is, she's not going to be able to make it to that to do it. So this woman could probably uh, miscarry this week. Yeah. And that was spirit doing you a favor, uh, Divine Masculine. Yeah. What's the tea with the Eight of Cups? What's the tea with this Eight of Cups being Divine Masculine? With brown nosy and structure. What's the tea? Yeah, a thief. Yeah. Divine Masculine, you knew something wasn't right. This Divine Masculine, you walking away from this person, place, a thing. If this is in business, Divine Masculine, you knew that something was go off. Something, Divine Masculine, like I said, this could be in business. And you hire an assistant. And you might find out that this assistant was stealing from you. Messing up your books. If this is in love, Divine Masculine, you realize that this woman is a karmic. And she came to steal from you emotionally probably mess up your marriage mess up your business yeah or this female i'm picking up another masculine like if this is in love this female divine masculine got another man with her he's around and it's like she's using him to come up against you so divine masculine this empress could be your ex-wife or your baby mother and it's like she got a whole new lover and it's like, because she's mad at you, she's trying to get her new lover to, like, come up against you. Some type of thief. Somebody a thief, Divine Masculine. And it's like, this week, Divine Masculine, you're accepting it for what it is. And you're not going to uh, no longer allow this thief to be in your energy. Yeah, you walking away from a thief. Whether this is physically, financially, or, like, emotionally. Yeah, you walking away from this person. They're a thief. Or Divine Masculine, you're walking away from like 
if you got a woman in a third party and it's like divine masculine, you know you using this female and it's like you already married or something. It's like you're going to walk away from like wasting her time. You're being a thief. You're using her for her energy, for sex or money. And you really don't want this female. So it's like you're walking away from being that thief energy. Because it's like not worth it. Because this female was going to get you. Yeah, it's like you marry and you, I'm telling you, you know, I don't know, Divine Masculine, but this female was going to get you. Yeah, she was working on it, but it's going to get stopped. It's like, <clears throat> if this is a situation of love, it's like Divine Masculine, everybody going to have to charge it to the game. She got played, she was, you got, it's like, you, you going to have to charge it to the game, Divine Masculine, because you no longer have a side piece, or you're going to have to get you a new one. And this female gonna have to charge it to the game. Because it's like Divine Masculine, you wasn't gonna wife her. You wasn't gonna make her your one and only. So she gonna have to charge it to the game. She ain't gonna get what she want. Which is probably a, in an exclusive relationship. And Divine Masculine, you're not gonna get what you want. And that's to be able to have a third party, have your cake and eat it too. So it's like y'all both of y'all gonna have to charge it to the game. What's the tea with this Eight of Cups being another person's energy with mindful and high expectations and argue wars? What's the tea with the Eight of Cups being another energy, another person? Yeah, Carmen, friends, I told you Divine Masculine, this person, Eight of Cups, it could be a water sign, don't have to be. But this person was a karmic to you. Karmic friends. Divine Masculine, this... uh. This karmic was probably just, like I said, a third party. She was just a friend. Yeah. Can't fully trust them. Tension. Secret competition. Yeah. Divine Masculine, you was dealing with a woman. And it's like this woman had a masculine around her. And it's like she was trying to put you in a third party. But it's like she not even your girl. Like something like that. Yeah. This Eight of Cups energy being another party, Divine Masculine, is a karmic friend. Or it's like this woman got karmic friends and it's like it was putting you in a situation to buy masculine. Because I'm picking up this cologne, it's like somebody else. So to buy masculine, you um, could have been dating this empress, whether you got kids by her or not. And she could have kids by another man. So it's like both you you and this guy probably got kids by her. And it's like to buy masculine, you not acting right. So it's like she go get her baby father on you or something. Her other baby daddy, <laughs> something like that, or her uncle. What's the tea with the Empress in Cologne? So it's like your karmic had karmic to buy masculine. Yeah, child nigga like came out sideways. Divine masculine, yeah, this Empress, um, she could have been trying to bring accusations against you that you was neglecting your child. Or she could have, yeah, this Empress, yeah. Or I'm also picking up Divine Masculine. This Empress. It's like, I don't know. It's like this Empress was trying to get you in, the, uh, in the, like another masculine to like. Yeah, it's like this Empress. So this is like a situation with Divine Masculine. This Empress could be your baby mother. It could be your ex-wife. But it's like this empress could have been telling you, like this empress could be your baby mother. And it's like Divine Masculine, this empress could have been telling you her boyfriend was abusing y'all child and it wasn't true. I'm picking that up too. It's like somebody was having a hard time, like maybe spreading a rumor about somebody being a bad parent or saying that somebody's child was scared of them and it wasn't true. So it could have been a situation like that. It's like Divine Masculine, your mother, your baby mother ain't no good. Somebody was lying to you, trying to get you to fight somebody else or something. Or she could have been telling you this because she wanted you to take her back. But it's like this karmic is stupid. That could have, it's like you don't play like that. You don't tell a man that another man is abusing his child and that's not true. You don't say that. And she could have been telling you that lie so y'all can get back together. Or she could have been telling you that lie to get close to you so she can steal from you. So this could be her calling you, oh, uh, her new boyfriend named John. She telling you, John, 
you know, I'm getting tired of John. John stealing my money and John hit Tay Tay. And <clears throat> can I come to your house? I need to borrow like a hundred dollars. Like she was saying something to get close to you to steal from you. Yeah, this car me crazy. Like you don't. If you, she was like putting people's life in danger, like being stupid. Like she was saying stuff she didn't have to say. She could have made up a less uh a lesser accusation than than child abuse or neglect. Like you don't play with child abuse. Like she could have if she want whatever she was trying to do, she didn't have to put kids in the middle of it. That's what I want to say. Cuz whatever it was, it wasn't true. Like child neglect. It's like this empress is having a hard time. Or divine masculine this empress was telling her new boyfriend that about you. And it's like she was trying to get her new lover to, like, do something to you. Yeah, but she was lying. What's the tea with the Wheel of Fortune in um, Sudden? Like, but what's the tea with that? Yeah, ignoring. Yeah. Y'all yeah, ignoring. Yeah. What's going to happen unexpectedly, these men, because this karmic trying to pin two men against each other, but she, I'm picking up this karmic either lying to both of y'all or she's lying to like one of y'all. But what's going to happen unexpectedly is like, say like Divine Masculine, this woman got another man to like rob you or steal from you. It's like this week was when they were supposed to do it, like rob you. But it's like when she go to confirm or reach out to this guy or call or text him, he's going to ignore her. He's going to ignore her. He's not going to answer the phone. Or it's like Divine Masculine, this Empress was plotting something. They were supposed to do it this week. But it's like Divine Masculine, when this Empress go to call you, you probably won't answer the phone. you just ignoring her. She probably want to see where you at so they can steal from you, rob you. Yeah, she probably could be calling you to see where you at. She probably come to your house, Divine Masculine, or go to your job, and she don't see your car out there. So it's like her plan is like she could be trying to call you, and it's like you're not going to you're gonna ignore her phone calls this week. Yep. Yeah. Because it's like Divine Masculine, you walking away from this empress emotionally. It's like you keeping a thief around. That's the T. You might get suspicious, Divine Masculine, and walk away. Like, something ain't right. You got to go. You getting out my house today. I don't trust you. Something ain't right. It's like, Divine Masculine, you probably can pick up on her. Like, something is not right. And it's like, the T about you walking away is because a thief is around. And it's like, Divine Masculine, you trying to build with this person. No, you going to realize this week you can't build with her. No. So either Divine Masculine, you're going to ignore her, this Empress, this Karmic, or this like this other man going to ignore her. Because it's like this other man, like in the nick of time, or he probably always knew this Karmic was lying. Like this other man was like, Divine Masculine not abusing his his kids. This Empress just mad. She she upset. Or this Karmic probably already know, or um, this Masculine, this other Masculine that's in this Karmic energy probably already know this, this Karmic still got feelings for you, Divine Masculine. And she just mad. Yeah. Somebody gonna ignore this karmic this week. And that's why her um her plot for revenge is like not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Cause somebody's gonna ignore her and it's gonna be a masculine. So either you or this other man divine masculine. What's the tea with uh the magician and axe? What's the tea? Oh. Alright, so yeah. Mm, oh, wow. Yeah. Legal issues. Court, judges, immigration, lawyers, fake accounts waiting. Yeah. Divine Masculine, this karmic was going to set you up. And she was waiting for this, like, the perfect opportunity. She was waiting. She was spying. And she wanted to cause you legal issues. Yeah. Yep. That was her act of revenge. She was waiting to do it, too. She was waiting. Yep. And, or she was waiting on someone. So, Divine Masculine, this man 
what I see too in the cards, divine masculine, whoever this man is that she got to come up against you. <clears throat> it's like this other man that was helping the karmic plot against you. It's like when he communicated with you or when he was in communication with the karmic, he made a fake account so he can avoid legal issues. So what nobody know it was him. So it's like when it's like they was plotting against you, Divine Masculine, but it's like when he was in communication, when this other masculine was in communication with the karmic or with you, Divine Masculine, you could have been in communication with this man and it's like he had a fake account. So Divine Masculine, if you a business owner or something, this could have been this man um emailing you to your business account. Posing, like, making making a, a fake inquiry. Like, yeah, I want this. I need that. But it's like that. He had a fake account to spy on you, Divine Masculine. So he could avoid these legal issues. This masculine. He didn't want to be found out. Yeah. Somebody was making a fake account to avoid these legal issues. Yeah, but they were spying on you, Divine Masculine. And they were waiting. Yeah. This 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 uh, magician energy, they was waiting to do this. Yeah. Yep, they was waiting. Yep. Their act of revenge, they was waiting to do it. And they would use fake accounts to avoid these legal issues. Yep, that's what I'm picking up this week, Divine Masculine. You got a karmic female around you, Divine Masculine. Yep, you got a karmic female around you. But the will of fortune is going to step in. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, fake social media accounts to spy Facebook. Yeah. Divine Masculine, I'm picking up. You could have a business and this karmic. She was making fake accounts, or she had this man make a fake account. And it's like they emailed you or text you in inquiry. Something about your business. So it's like they can get their foot in the door. But they were going to do something. Yeah. But they made a fake account to do this. So this could have been you, Divine Masculine. You um not getting along with this karmic. And she trying to figure out your work schedule. Like you not telling her your business. So this karmic or this other masculine like email your business or call your receptionist. But it's fake account. So it's like they... Make up a fake account to like email your company, and they could be like, um, "Oh, we just want to know your business hours. What are y'all business hours? Like something like that." This karmic or this man is doing, yeah, <clears throat> online. Or how how much do you charge? Or something like that. They doing online, but they're making a fake account to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more tea about revenge. Tell me more tea about revenge. Yeah. Divine Masculine running came out in reverse. Yeah. Divine Masculine, um, one of the aspects of their revenge, and it could have been an armed robbery, didn't have to be. This could have been them hacking into like your bank accounts. It was something they was doing. But the aspect of their revenge was... They didn't want somebody to be able to get away. So running came out in reverse. So it's like this karmic wanted to fix it to where you wouldn't be able to run away. Or your feet, or I don't know, divine masculine, this karmic could have went after like uh, somebody you got pregnant or your baby mother. Or this karmic is probably like after your mother. I just heard, don't forget the mother. So for some of y'all, it's like this karmic is after your mother. This karmic could be after your child's mother or your wife or somebody. But I just heard that. Don't forget the mother. Yeah. It's like whatever this karmic plan was, they wanted to fix it with the, the people, the victims wouldn't be able to escape. Yeah. Yeah. Because running is in reverse. So that was that was a part of the revenge. Like they wouldn't be able to get away. Yeah. Yeah, or I don't know. 
People crazy nowadays. I don't know. This karmic could be going after all the females in your life, Divine Masculine. Because I heard, don't forget the mother. <laughs> or I don't know if that's what the karmic told this man. Like, rob all of them. Get the mother. Get the baby mother. Get that wife. Get You, you just don't know what people. You don't put stuff past people. Yeah. This karmic could have hired a hitman. Crazy. Something like that. Yeah, and it's like divine masculine. You was trying to build with this karmic. Be reasonable with her. Or divine masculine, you could have been trying to get money out of this karmic so you can do something for like your wife or your divine feminine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and this karmic found out too. And she she was just like this. This was her plan. Yeah, divine masculine, you could have been using this female to like do something for like your divine feminine or well, somebody and that karma was like oh okay for real oh okay all right yeah i can't believe i heard that clear as day don't forget the mother <laughs> and that's probably what that karma said when you go up and you get anybody yeah but it's not gonna work because i think this man the karma could have hired a hit man for real I think it's not going to work because it's like Divine Masculine. This karmic is either going to be trying to locate you and you're not going to answer her phone call. Or it's like whoever this man that she put up to this devil man, he's going to not answer the karmic. Yeah. So the karmic is going to get ignored this week. Yeah. So that's what I have. Divine, Fem Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of this reading may resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time, or this could be something that happened in the past. If it's past energy for you, you know, you just got to figure out what spirit could be telling you in the present. Sometimes a present reading could give you answers or closure to something that happened in the past. So keep that in mind. Um, as well, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Divine Masculine, and um, have a nice week and enjoy your week. Thanks.